Magnets are very interesting because they have the power to make things move without touching them. The magnetic field created by a magnet causes this phenomenon. The magnetic field is so strong that it is able to travel through objects such as plywood like you saw in the lab. Did you notice during the lab that sometimes the magnets easily stuck together and other times would not stick together at all? This is because magnets have poles. Let's take a closer look. At each end of a magnet there is a different pole. On one end is the north pole and the other is the south pole, just like on earth. Have you ever heard of the saying opposites attract? Well it's true with magnets. Remember during the lab when the magnets came together? That was because you were attaching the north pole of one magnet to the south pole of another. Also, remember when you tried putting two magnets together and they wouldn't stick to each other at all? You were connecting two ends of a magnet that had the same pole. By taking the south pole of one magnet and moving it closer to another magnet's south pole, you would be able to push that magnet without even touching it. Now, if you were to connect the two opposite poles, you would be able to pull this magnet without even touching it. Now that you've learned about magnets and their poles, let's take a look at some content statements. Every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. Every magnet has a magnetic field that is able to travel through solid objects. Opposites attract. A north pole will be drawn to a south pole, but two of the same poles will push away from each other. Magnets can be a lot of fun to experiment with. Thank you for watching.